Women's Neurology is um, a, a division which cares for women who are either pregnant or planning to become pregnant who also have neurologic illness. Um, there are a lot of neurologic illnesses that occur frequently in women of childbearing age. It includes things like migraine, multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, myasthenia gravis. What our division does is provides care to women who have those illnesses and who need special consideration and special care when they enter pregnancy and delivery. One of the common uh, neurologic problems, very common in women of childbearing age, is migraine headaches. And some of the medications that we frequently use for women with migraine are not the best to be on during pregnancy. Um, for example, Topamax is commonly used, but that can cause cleft palate. What we do here at the Division of Women's Neurology is we have a holistic approach for patients with migraine headaches. Um, we will taper them off of the Topamax and we will generally put them on a combination of magnesium, 250 to 500 milligrams, and vitamin B2, 200 to 400 milligrams as a preventative for headaches. When they do develop their headaches, we generally recommend Tylenol for rescue. We're about to conduct a study on Arnold Chiari malformation. And Arnold Chiari malformation is um, a congenital malformation involving the cerebellum, which is an area of the brain in the back of the brain. People with Chiari malformation, instead of having the cerebellum sit up above the skull like most of us, the, uh, the bottom of the cerebellum, called the tonsils, begins to descend through the foramen magnum and has the potential to create some compression on the brain stem. When severe, Chiari malformation can cause headaches, vertigo, and other symptoms. Most patients who have it are asymptomatic. In the past, we have generally directed women who have Chiari malformation to have cesarean sections rather than vaginal delivery due to concern that when they're in the second stage of labor and pushing hard, that that could actually worsen her Chiari malformation. Um, in my experience, there are many women who have this malformation who have delivered successfully th through vaginal delivery rather than cesarean section. Um, what the goal of our study is, is to evaluate women who have delivered at McGee within the past five years and to identify those women who are ultimately either before or after delivery found to have the Chiari malformation. And then we'll review each of those charts to determine what the outcome of either cesarean section or vaginal delivery was in these women. It's very important for physicians who are treating women with neurologic conditions to have an individualized approach to these patients. It's important to counsel them before pregnancy, um, to make modifications in medical regimen if needed, and to consider that during the entire process of pregnancy, you're dealing with two patients.